Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how electrons are shared in covalent bonding. You should then be able to draw dot and cross diagrams to show covalent bonding. In the last couple of videos we've been looking at small covalent molecules. We've seen the molecules hydrogen, chlorine, hydrogen chloride, water, ammonia and methane. As you can see, all of these molecules have got single covalent bonds, in other words, a shared pair of electrons. In this video, we're going to look at two final small covalent molecules. These are oxygen and nitrogen. So let's start by looking at the covalent bonding in an oxygen molecule. This has a formula O2. So in this molecule, we've got two oxygen atoms bonded together. Oxygen atoms have got six electrons in their outer energy level and I'm showing you them here. I'd like you to pause the video now and try to draw the covalent bonding in an oxygen molecule. Okay, so each oxygen atom requires two more electrons to achieve a full outer energy level, and they can do this by overlapping their outer energy levels like this. Now, you'll notice that this is a double covalent bond because we've got two shared pairs of electrons. Here are the dot cross and the stick diagrams for the oxygen molecule. Okay, here's the final small covalent molecule. This is the nitrogen molecule N2. As you can see, nitrogen atoms have got five electrons in their outer energy level. I'd like you to pause the video for one final time and try to draw the covalent bonding in a nitrogen molecule. So as you can see, each nitrogen atom requires three more electrons to achieve a full outer energy level, and they can do this by overlapping their outer energy levels like this. This forms a triple covalent bond because we have three shared pairs of electrons. Here are the dot cross diagram and the stick diagram for the nitrogen molecule. You'll find plenty of questions on covalent bonding in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how electrons are shared in covalent bonding. You should then be able to draw dot and cross diagrams to show covalent bonding. 